You have good news for me. How did it go? Lord Gismond is dead. He found out we're after him and he killed himself. Bastard. I wanted to see him hang. The worst thing is he avoided the trial. The whole incident will be silently put aside and everything will go on as it did before. Maybe it's better this way. The chain of murders had no end. Do you know why he did it? I can only guess. Sir William and Lord Gismond had an almost identical abnormality. It seems they both suffered from the same rare disease that causes heightened sensitivity to light and deformed teeth. But that's hardly the reason why they kidnapped him. Quite the contrary. We found his notes and also the most remarkable collection of flowers and poisons. Most of them from the Orient, where Lord Gismond spent a great deal of time. That's true. The cooling chamber was full of things like that. What did he need them for? As far as I know, he was seeking medicine for his disease, but he was afraid the potions might kill him. He was probably looking for somebody on whom to experiment. I see. And that somebody would have to have the same disease. Yet Sir William was not his sole experimental subject. In the walled-up chamber we found other bodies, all of them, in an advanced state of decay. The walled-up door. I knew there was something odd about it. That unknown disease must be unique if he had to seek out nobility. When his last prisoner died, he had no other choice than to plan Sir William's kidnap. That was ingenious. He almost got away with it. No one would have known Sir William's coffin was empty. I still don't know how he managed to fake his death. But all the other murders must be related to that. The dirty work was the servant's job. His task was probably to get rid of all the witnesses. And he almost succeeded. But now it's over. Not quite. We searched the cellar and found Sir William's body and plenty of other evidence. But the servant is missing. What? The Knight Rider is alive. Exactly. Or his body was flushed away through the canals. It would be best if you board the first ship. It leaves tonight before midnight. Here are your tickets. Detective, I still don't get it. The Knight Rider was a faithful servant to his master. If he survived, he definitely wouldn't leave Lord Gismond without protection. Perhaps he came too late. When he found out his master had poisoned himself, he fled. Poisoned? And what did he drink? Aren't you going to order an autopsy or something? No. The authorities would never allow it, so we will never find it out. Does it matter? I don't know. Where is he now? His body was taken to a secret place and buried without a funeral. Funeral? That's it. The poison wasn't poison at all. Do you know what I mean? We have to get to him immediately. Have you gone mad, Moore? Every single policeman is looking for you. You're not listening to me. Lord Gismond is alive. He played the same trick on you as with Sir William. How did you find it out? You wouldn't believe me. But the Knight Rider will dig him up and everything will start again unless we intervene. Leave it to me. Board the ship and be careful. They have your description, so keep yourself hidden. As you wish, Detective. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Moore. I have a strange feeling this isn't our last meeting anyway. If it's possible, I'd like to forget it all. Simply start a new life. Yeah.
That would be great. Show me your identification papers, sir. Everything will be okay. The detective will help me out of this. What's taken him so long? He should already be here. We have a message for you. You shouldn't have escaped from prison and killed policemen, you scum. Oh, what an ending. How fucking depressing is that? Well, I have to admit, I love that game. That was such a good storyline. And that rounds up nicely for a sequel. Excellent. Ah, so uh, my theory went out the window. I actually thought it was, uh, it was Tim at some point. But um, there you go. Shows how crap I am at uh, figuring out storylines. No, excellent game, and I hope you enjoyed the Let's Play. See you again.